Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dash Wrestling World. We're here in Staten Island, New York. We got a big card for you tonight. Oh, oh wait a minute. He's not in action tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Cameron Bash. We know he's facing Matthew on January 1st at Dynasty UK Invasion. Five years in the making. Cameron Bash. In the building, and oh god! January fifteenth, he faces Matthew. And the gentlemen, Max Bryan. Max Bryant, Cameron Bash in the ring at the same time. You're a monster. I can swallow a bottle. Oh, God. Godzilla, better hit the deck like the Godzilla. My whole squad's in here walking around the body and cross between a zombie apocalypse and Big Bobby. The great Hayden, which is Bobby. The same race and I'm with Mania Hayden's and it's a monster. Consider it to cross me. I'm God's mistake. And ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 2022 Superman Tournament, Killer Conan! Ladies and gentlemen, all three of Matthew Hilton's next challengers are in the ring. Here in where Matthew Hilton was born, Staten Island, New York. Staten Island? Yeah, it feels good being there. See, Matthew Hilton doesn't respect this place, but we do. We do. Now, there's a few things each of us won't get off our chests before our match is with him. Matthew, I don't even think you're going to be able to wrestle these two. Because January 1st, I'm taking that title off you in the UK in front of my home. The fact that you think you're going to win is baffling. It is. I don't know how you think you're going to win that. But also, the night before, I'm competing in the English qualifiers for the World Cup. And who knows, maybe I might have to pull double duty. So maybe you could get lucky. Well, Matthew, I've been waiting five years to get my hands on you. And January 1st is a whole new year. Whole new me. I'm winning the World Heavyweight Championship from you. Matthew. Last week, I announced I am coming out of retirement. Just so I can avenge what you did to my best friend, Drew Boyd. All the shit you've put him through for the past month. And now you got him suspended. So. January 15th. If you can make it past Cameron Bash, January 1st. We've had one singles match against each other, Matthew. 
It was a hardcore match, and you won. I'll give it to you. But here's the thing. This is straight up wrestling. Ain't no way you can beat me in a straight up wrestling match. January 15th, in front of a sold out crowd. Not only am I going to drive your head into the ground. I'm going to break your damn neck. Let's say, if you can make it past these two, let's just say I'm the brick wall that's going to stop you in your place in February. Let me remind you of who I am. I've had a long journey coming back to the U.S. because I got deported a few years ago, let's say. And then when, I, when you signed me back, let's just say it was a breath of fresh air. And now, I'm get to be the one to end your world championship reign. If you can make it past Cameron Bash, if you can make it past Max Bryant, you're definitely not going to make it past the Bulldog. Killer Conan. Matthew. Three big challengers at the very start of the new year. Hope you're ready. Because I know damn well I've been waiting to come out of retirement for how many? Three years in retirement. And now I'm back. And I'm not wasting no time. Ladies and gentlemen, big words from the next three world championship challengers. Killer Conan, Cameron Bash, Max Bryant. But now we got to get in to our first match, an American qualifiers match for the World Cup. Ladies and gentlemen, now before we get this next match in the American World Cup qualifier underway, we gotta go with the stats of each wrestler. So starting with the Rebel, Johnny Gallius. He is a 2020 Dojo graduate. A one-time Dynasty United States champion. A three-time Dynasty Junior Heavyweight champion. And a 2022 Dynasty Super Juniors winner. Can he add the World Cup to his resume. Oh. Now we got his opponent on the other hand. Knee strike Johnny Grant, a third of the tr of the trio of Fight Club, one half of the Grants. Let's see his resume. He is a one-time OWW Intercontinental Champion. A one-time LAW Tag Team Champion. A one-time Dynasty Hardcore Champion. He is a two-time World Tag Team Cha Dynasty World Tag Team Champion. And he's also my best friend. And that's the guy I want to win it all. Anyway, let's get this first match underway. Time to get this first match underway. Oh. 
This contest scheduled for fall is an American World Qualifier match for the 2023 World Cup Tournament. Introducing first, the Rebel, Johnny Gallius. His opponent representing Fight Club and the Grants. He is knee strike Johnny Grant. Match underway. That's Johnny Gallius. Takes on Johnny Grant in a match that's probably going to tear the house down. And there's a knee strike already with a chop. Wait a minute. Gallius with a body slam. Gallius coming off two straight losses against his mentor, Chris Danger. Well, former mentor, the one that betrayed him. But I think Gallius is safe to know that Chris Gaines did not advance against Gavin Saban. Gavin was able to pick up a win against him. And the cover by Johnny Grant. And there's a back elbow by Johnny. They're running him under the face. Standing shooting star. Off the ropes. There's an in the face by Johnny Gallius. Gallius went for a cutter. Johnny Grant. Elbow to the face. Kick to the leg. Look at Johnny Gallius. Gut wrench. And there's a European uppercut by Johnny Gallius. Punches. Backhand knee strike. Punch, kick. There's another kick by Gallius. Set in the corner. Again. Again. Chop to the chest. There's an elbow to the face. Elbow drop. This is Johnny Grant in trouble. Running swan time. Gallius. Roll up. No. Gallius. One no. Now the 
ring goes Johnny Grant. And a moonsault to the outside by Johnny Gallius on Johnny Grant. Wait a minute. Gunslinger on a chair. He's made it back in at 19. Yeah. Wait, Johnny Grant sent to the outside. Three, three, now Grant has a chair. Oh, but Galley's with a kick to the face. That had to have knocked Johnny Grant out. No. Oh. Our last American qualifier match, first round will be in the main event as Matthew Storm and Young Ace go out. Two count only. Straight punch. And a Spanish flag. Johnny Grant. Elbow punch, kick. This is Jim Jones out here. We're in Staten Island, New York. The hometown of Matthew Hilton. Our world champion and owner of Dynasty. There's a kick by Grant. Oh wait, Gallius. Johnny Gallius moves on. Your winner in 11 minutes, 39 seconds, Johnny Gallius. Johnny Gallius is going to the next round of the qualifiers to take on the winner of Matthew Storm and Young Ace. Johnny Grant, my best friends out of the tournament. Damn it. Great match between these two. And there's a sign of respect by Johnny Grant with the fist bump. about to get into our next match. Out of the Boyd family and Matthew Hilton have a rich history. Alex has fought him. Thomas has fought him. My brother's fought him. My brother-in-law in -law has fought him. My nephew's fought him. My cousins fought him. I haven't. At least not in singles action. You see, I know where this World Cup goes. And with me beating Chris Danger and advancing me to the next round, I feel like I have a shot at completing the Boyd family tradition and have me be the final guy that has to fight him. Not only that, but I feel like I have to fight him. And it has to be in the main event of Fight Fest. So I have to win the World Cup. Oh, Gavin. So delusional. <laughs> Always delusional. You're the loser of the family. That's all you do is you do the job. For people like me. Alright? Now, take your little Boyd fantasies and take them elsewhere. Because this tournament is going to be about me and my rise to the top of Dynasty. Alright? Yeah, here's the thing, Bat Denton, hey, listen. You're a great talent. You pinned my brother last week. 
to qualify. You pinned him. You did good. But um, our next match is until January 7th. Where I'm going to pin you in the center of the ring. Like I did with Chris Danger. And qualify. For the next round. And let's just say this has to be my destiny. Keep that destiny to yourself, right? <laughs> oh, God, there's a brawl breaking out in the backstage area. We got to get into our next match. Come on. Time for women's action. This contest is scheduled for one fall, introducing first, the Deathmatch Princess, Bad Amy. Creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go, we put on Gone freedom, if you come for me If you ready for a demon, I got eyes And her opponent, she is the Dynasty Women's World Champion Layla Siren Even not to take this crap from seeing to believing Got it, it's more blood, my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing So cold, be cold Tomorrow night, Layla has to defend the belt against a mystery woman. It'll be fun to see who that mystery woman is. As all, all except the Dynasty World title will be defended tomorrow night. On Christmas Day at on Dynasty Christmas Chaos. What a show that's gonna be. We also have the OWW Championship on the line as Tony Edry sits and defending against Haku and three mystery competitors. We will explain the rules of the match before it happens. As bad Amy. What would a win against the women's world champion mean here for Bad Amy? I mean, last week, Bad Amy lost to Alice Saban. So what would a victory here do? It'd probably do a lot. Bad Amy. Super kick! those elbows and collarbone. There's a punch to the head and an elbow to the face. Both these women taking it to each other. Bad Amy knocked down the champion. And there's an elbow drop. And dragon screw by Layla. Moon salt. No. Cut 
cover. And Matt Amy in trouble with Layla, the women's world champion. Probably the best women's wrestler in EFED history. Had quite a year. Hell, the the moment she beat Alice for the bell, she has been she has not lost that title. Been all, I'm pretty sure we've probably passed 250 days as women's world champion. There's a kick to the face of Layla. Bad Amy. In trouble. Knee drop. Bad Amy in trouble. A backbreaker. Got the chest. As Layla had the arm. And Diamond Hurricane Rana. Mutilation on Bad Amy. Alex Saban watching backstage. A baseball slide drop kick. With Alice being number one contender. Layla again in the corner, taking it to Bad Amy. Where's the Bliss? Wait a minute. Roll up by Bad Amy, but it's a rope break. And Bad Amy and Layla Siren. Layla on the ropes, Bad Amy. 619! Running basement grab kick. Layla taken down, elbow drop by Bad Amy. Here in Staten Island, New York. This is Jimmy Joe on commentary. Oh, super kick. Top of his chest. We're going to be in Scotland Island tomorrow for Christmas chaos. Got that somewhere in America tomorrow. Wait a minute. Bad Amy. Bad Amy. Also, he's in 
Shadow coming soon with the main roster after winning the Andrew Boyd Senior New Blood Tournament. And Spinebuster! Wait a minute. Brave Buster! To the Women's World Champion. Oh, but Layla back up to her feet. Your winner in 16 minutes, one second, Bad Amy! What a victory! Now Bad Amy has a claim to the title! And the women's world champion. Now it's time for our next match. Christmas Chaos. Two weeks after I let win the Legacy title, I have to defend it at Christmas Chaos. That's fine by me. Because I get to prove why I'm the best champion in this company. And I haven't been here that long. I've had two matches. Three if you count. My win over Rob, Robert Cruz. I've had two matches. I pinned Thomas Styles, and I won the Legacy title in the, my second match. So my third match is against whoever challenges me that day. Who's getting the Christmas present? We're going to find out. Because their Christmas present isn't what it seems. So, our next match is a Canadian qualifier. The winner of this will face Johnny Adrian, the Global Japan Universal Champion, on January 21st in Las Vegas. So, let's get down to it. Johnny Wells, he has accomplished a bit. He's accomplished a bit. He is a two-time... Hell, he's even the inaugural Dynasty Junior Heavyweight Champion. He's a two-time champion. Not only that, but he's the winner of the 2019 Dynasty Super Juniors Tournament. The winner of the first ever Super Juniors Tournament in Dynasty history. Which was a weird tournament, honestly. So, let's see if he can add the World Cup to his list. Now, time to talk about his opponent, Yamamoto, the menace. He is a one-time LAW Twitch champion, a one-time OWW World Champion, and a one-time OWW Intercontinental Champion. Now, can his Christmas present come early? Will he go on to the next round? And face Johnny Adrian. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get into this first 
the next match of the Canadian qualifiers. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is a first round Canadian qualifier match for the Dynasty World Cup. It starts with anything. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I designed this rhyme to explain in due time. Oh, I know. Time is a valuable thing. Introducing first, the Canadian Dragon, Johnny Wells. And his opponent, the menace, Yamamoto! He kind of lost that name when he flossed to Franco, not once but twice! Well, that doesn't matter right now. Yamamoto and Johnny Wells, one on one. Chop to the chest, turning Johnny inside out, but Johnny was able to pick out a zero. Stomp the back of the knee. to the chest of Yamamoto. This is going to be very physical. As these two like to hit each other. Johnny Wells like kicks. Wait, Yamamoto. Catch clicks! Who's going to be the one to face Johnny Well, Johnny Adrian. And a Canadian qualifier final. Yamamoto and Johnny Wells. Yamamoto diving splash, but it was a rope break. And there's a oh, cap killer! Johnny Wells' signature submission, his finishing submission hold. Wait a minute. Ankle lock. Johnny's working the legs of Yamamoto. And knee to the crotch. Cover. Yamamoto. Snap suplex on Yamamoto. Corner. On the rope with Johnny Wells. 619! Springboard DDT! Johnny with a kick to the chest. And running guillotine. He has the guillotine choke locked in, but no Yamamoto Moto is able to get out of it. Running elbow drop. No! Ya 
Yamamoto. Again, caught in the capular. Brain buster! Armbar. Down to the arm. Wait a minute. Canadian Destroyer! Oh, Yamamoto barely able to kick out. And a knee drop. And Johnny Wells, Trey Buster. Wait, Johnny. Kick right upside the head. Uh, two step kick. No. There's a kick to the head. Now stomping his face into the ground. Oh, Yamamoto's bleeding. The cover. No. Backbreaker. There's a kick to the side of the head. And there's an elbow drop. There's an arm bar. And there's a guillotine. Wait a minute, Johnny Wells, rolling elbow. And a knee strike by Yamamoto! Buster! Off ropes. Guillotine. And Yamamoto taps out. Go in in 12 minutes, 55 seconds by a submission. Johnny Wells. How hard to try to keep that in mind. I decided to run to remind myself how I tried so hard. It's kind of the way you were mocking me. It's going to be Johnny Adrian. Johnny Wells. The way they were before. You wouldn't even recognize me anymore. Not that you knew me back then, but it all comes back to me in the end. You kept everything inside. Those two will go at it. January 21st. The season will go to the World Cup. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see with Johnny Adrian. Johnny Wells. You and me, Jan January 21st. I'm picking up the win. Just to let you know. But don't worry. You have plenty of time to think about your life choices. Because let's face it, I'm definitely going to the World Cup. But there's another issue that's bothering me. See, last week when I won my qualifier match, Orange Cassidy, my former tag team partner, showed up uninvited. Well, Orange... 
And then you punched me in the face. You step, you put your nose in a business that wasn't yours. So now, you know, I don't want to wait till December 31st to put you down. All right. I want to put you down the first day of the new year. January 1st. I want you, Orange Cassidy. Whoever they were gonna go, they're gonna book me against. I don't want. I want you January first. I'm gonna put down the demon that is you. I'm gonna retain my Global Japan Universal Title against you, Orange. That's my next defense. But as for Johnny Wells. Enjoy your 15 minutes of faith. Tag team action. First contest scheduled for Ball and Judas first is a non-title match. Judas and first, the team of Rob King and Braden Torres, they are the Dynasty World Tag Team Champions, the Kingdom. And their opponents, the team of Brian Slater and Adam Shaw. They are Powerhouse. Match is underway. As Powerhouse take on the World Tag Team Champions. A non title match. The question is who's going to challenge the kingdom tomorrow at Christmas Chaos? Anthony Perez isn't here tonight, but let's see, because he's all the way in Scotland Island for Christmas Chaos. Every challenge here tomorrow night is a mystery. Except we already know one challenge for the OWW Championship. That's Haku. Wait a minute. Body slam. Rob King. 
Next week we're in Manchester, England. As we get ready for the UK invasion. There's a drop kick by Rob King. Count only. As, oh, magic killer! Brayden Torres and Brian Slater. Diving splash, no. Wait a minute. Power bomb! We already know the War Dogs lay claim to the tag title. Tag to Adam Shaw. Another magic killer. You know, Adam Shaw has Rob King. And there's a knee lip. The drop kick. Cover. No. Wait a minute. Get the power bomb. Now figure four. Tag to Braden. The kingdom having a rough time here. Who's gonna challenge the kingdom? That's the question. European uppercut. Off the ropes. Leapfrog. Pop up power bomb. No. Rolling Larry by Brian Slater. Tag Rock King. They have to make it back in the ring. They do. And look at the power of Adam Shaw with that gorilla pre press slam to Rod King. Off the ropes. There's a headbutt tied to Brayden. There's a running leg drop. And a brain buster. And there's a line tamer by Brian Slater. Brain was in the ropes though. Wait a minute. The end! Adam Shaw breaks up the pin.
Drags made. Finds Adam's jaw. Rob King with a drop kick. Rob King's the legal man. A brutal Larry in the corner to Rob. Open trading shots. Adam Shaw knocked Rob King down with a punch. One count only. Had Brian Slater. Rob King was barely in this match. I'm guessing. Now look at Brian. Gorilla press slam. I made the brain. Headbutt from Brian Slater. Wait a minute. Graded power bomb. Wait a minute. Oh, Brian Slater pin Rob King. I mean, I pin pin Braden. Your winner is in 16 minutes, 41 seconds, Powerhouse! Now, Powerhouse laid claim to a World Tag Team title opportunity. Also late claim. And now we got a face-to-face -face confrontation between Haku and Tony Everett. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, they are face-to-face. -face. Let's see what they have to say to each other. Tony, I've pinned you before. The last time we fought in the middle of the ring, in the one-on-one -on -one match, I pinned you. So what makes you think you're going to beat me this time? I'm walking out of Christmas Chaos tomorrow. New OWW champion. And there's nothing you or the three other men are going to do about it. Yeah, because here's the thing. I'm, I'm in the match to make sure you don't walk away. And I know it's three days before your big event. But still, I want to defend the belt. In the first ever Christmas Chaos match in Dynasty history for the OWW Championship? Sign me up. I don't care who wins. As long as you lose, I'm fine. And from what I hear, the guys Max Bryant, this is when he was general manager, the guys Max Bryant picked are all three of them are better, are more deserving of the OWW title than you are. Oh, oh. you want to talk about deserving. I've deserved an opportunity at that for a long time. I was screwed. I felt like I was mistreated. So, I am going to take that title away from you. I'm going to strip you of the burden that is being the longest reigning champion in any of our companies. In any of our two companies. Because, no, nope, doesn't matter what, we're getting a new champion. Whether it be at Christmas Chaos or at Hall of Destruction. See you then.
Here's the thing. All right. I've been a hardcore champion for a bit now. And now I got a lot of big matches coming up. There's Christmas Chaos. I don't know who my opponent is. There's Hall of Destruction. I don't know who my opponent is. And then there's a few weeks time. I don't know who my next challenger is. So basically a lot of people are getting Christmas presents against me this year. And let's see what they have to... <laughs> Adam, Adam, listen. I might not be challenging you at Christmas Chaos because I I wasn't picked. I'm not challenging you at Hall of Destruction because I don't work LAW. However, I will challenge you for that belt. How about January 7th? You take me on. And I'll embarrass you. Proving you that I'm really the king of everything. Even the hardcore division. You know what, Zalee? That's an amazing offer. And I'm going to accept you on that offer. Because last time I checked, I've won the King of the Deathmatch tournament. You haven't. So, you're on January 7th. Ladies and gentlemen, now we're about to talk about the final two competitors in the American qualifiers. Up first, we got Matthew Storm. The Storm Chaser. The me member of the Inferno. Now he is a one-time Dynasty World Tag Team Champion. And a one-time Global Japan Universal T Champion. Back when the company was still around. Matthew Storm has held also the MZW World Championship. Back in one of Matthew Hilton's old companies. So. Matthew Storm. Knows about being a world champion because he's done it twice. Can he be the winner of the 2023 World Cup? Matthew Storm. But this is his challenger. Young Ace. Now, Young Ace only has one thing on his sleeve. He's a member of Party Delta, but he was also the previous Dynasty Legacy Champion what winning an upset victory at Demolition Derby. He is also a Demolition Derby match winner. Young Ace. Can he add the World Cup? And can he achieve his dreams? This match is about to get underway. You dig your way down, you won't like what you find. So keep your hands off of what is clearly mine. You see that fence said, don't cross the line. Don't cross the line. Put on the face paint. It's about to be a war. This contest skittle for him, is a round one qualifier for America in the World Cup. Here you see first, representing the Inferno, the Storm Chaser, Matthew Storm. Opponent. Representing Party Delta, he is the Ace of Spades, Young Ace. 
Who's gonna face Johnny Gallius? There's a brain buster. Off the ropes, no. And there's a northern light. Big back is double to the back. Wait a minute, body slam. That running, a nice, a nice splash. Off the ropes, rolling elbow miss. Oh, spinning back. European uppercut by Young Ace. Young Ace cover no. Matthew Storm put on the face paint tonight. He's up right to war tonight. There's an elbow to the face on Matthew Storm. Really, none of the other members of the Inferno agree with Matthew's tactics. The running face drop kick. Got to the chest. There's a drop kick by Young Ace. Well, we will hear from Matt Young. That's going to be our last thing of the show. The World Heavyweight Champion speaks in his hometown of Staten Island. Wait a minute. Brain Buster down the ring goes back. Goes Young Ace. That storm. Look at Young Ace. He's able to slam Matthew Storm to the mat. There's an elbow. Off the rope. Running elbow to the face. There's a body slam. Off the ropes. Spy Buster. Roll up. Brain Buster. Knee drop. One, two. two count him. Ace of Spades. One, two. two point nine. Wait a minute. Storm Chaser. No! Young Ace able to kick out. Gut Buster! The power bomb! And again! European uppercut. Now the ring goes Young Ace.
Bomb in the corner by Matthew Storm. Nice Larry for Matthew Storm. In the corner. Monkey flick. Frame Buster. And a pop-up power bomb. No. Another brain buster. Running European uppercut. The match is storm. Knees plant into the mat. And a knee drop. Head, elbow. So much. Punishment is being delivered. A capo kick. And an enzigiri by Matthew Storm. Oh, Matthew Storm able to get out of that. Now the ring goes young ace. Matthew Storm, Bas Basil Fly, but Young East wasn't, wasn't, got out of the way. The stun gun! Storm throws Young East into the hole. Into the ring. Moonlight Drive! Oh, Storm kicks out at two. European uppercut. He lit. Drop kick to the back of the head. Young ace. Ace of spades. Young ace. Moves on. Your winner in 16 minutes, 24 seconds, Young Ace. Young Ace picks up the victory over Matthew Storm and is moving on to the next round of the qualifiers. Matthew Storm with the win. I mean, no, Matt Storm disappointed himself as Young Ace celebrates a victory. I'm not going to be able to speak to you after this next promo. So this is Jimmy Joe saying, Good night, everybody! From Staten Island, New York. Hello, Staten Island. I'm home. Now, on to business. Cameron Bash, Max Bryant, Killer Conan, 
I'm going to sweep them all under the rug because, let's face it, none of them are taking my championship. None of them, especially Cameron Bash. I mean, he's the first person I have to wrestle in the new year. What makes you guys think he's going to take the belt from me in his home country? He's not. I'm going to mop the floor with this loser. That's what's going to happen. Then Max Bryant. They were tired for a few years. Ring rust probably set in. I'm going to kill him. And then Killer Conan. The winner of the Superman tournament. Obviously has had more matches this year than me. But here's the thing. He's not undefeated. I am. I'm ending this year undefeated. I've had my last match this year against Drew Boyd, and I beat him. So whether you like it or not, I ain't losing this year. I'm the boss, I say when I wrestle. Anyway, have fun. And tune in tomorrow for Christmas Chaos.